Welcome to SOLIDWORKS Tutorial Lesson 2. In this lesson, we'll be building this pulley. The first step to building anything is to do the planning phase. It's important that we ask ourselves a few questions before we start, so we don't run into any trouble later. The first question that we'll think about is where we want the origin of our part to be. From this view, we can see that we would want the origin right in the middle of the pulley, halfway between the left side and the right side of the pulley. If we switch over to the drawings, we can see the different orientations. That's the second thing we should think about. Where do we want the front of our part to be facing? In this, the front view shows this side of the pulley, the round part. Up here we see the top view. You can see that that pulley is turned up and we are looking at the top. Now it's time to think about which tools we want to use to build this part. Last week we learned about the extrude tool. Remember that the extrude tool takes a sketch and builds material in a straight line from that sketch. This pulley would be difficult to use that tool with because these aren't straight edges from their sketches. Instead, we're going to learn the revolve tool. The revolve tool requires usually two inputs. First, a sketch, or the, the cross section, and then how many degrees or how far it's going to rotate around a center axis. In this case, we draw the profile of our pulley here and then it would revolve around the center axis 360 degrees. It's usually a good idea to simplify the process into a series of simple steps rather than complex big steps. For example, in this situation we have this groove going around this pulley. We could make a complex sketch of this cross section including the groove, but instead we can make a base of the pulley that doesn't have the groove and then cut out the groove later. That will make the groove easy to modify later if we need to. The other two tools that we'll use in this part are the fillet tool and then the extruded cut. The fillet tool needs two inputs. First, the edges that it will round and then the radius that it will round them up with. And then for the extruded cut, we know that we'll need a sketch and then a distance to, to cut away. Now that we've planned which tools we want to use, we need to think about the order that we want to build them in. So number one will be the main base of the pulley, then we'll cut out the groove, and then we'll do these fillets, and last we'll do this keyhole in the middle. It's also important at this point to think about other tools that we might know that would make the part easier. Since we only really have two tools that we know, we don't have a very big toolbox. So we'll talk about that in later lessons.